Howdy, and welcome to the online archive of Texas History Trust. To help you make the most of our thousands of pages of early Texas source material, let's take a quick tour of the features of our online book reader. This tutorial applies to reading on your desktop or laptop computer. While you can read and search our books on phones and tablets, reading on a computer gives you more research tools. So let's hop into it. The tool I think you'll use the most is here in the upper right corner, the search icon. This powerful tool allows you to search for any term within this volume. When you click it, the search field opens up. Since we're in Castaneda right now, let's search for the term Presidio. As you type, you see search results begin populating in the area below the search box. You can scroll up and down within the results. Clicking on one will take you to that page where you'll find that your search term has been highlighted. As you're reading, you may want to make notes that you can refer to later. To do that, just highlight the text that you would like to notate. Right click and choose Add Note. Type whatever you'd wish, change the color of the text, whatever helps you organize your research. Get creative and go nuts. When you're ready to view all of your notes, click the little speech bubble icon here in the bottom toolbar. Your list of notes will appear at the left of your screen. Because notes are linked to cookies stored in your browsing history, you can only access them in the browser that you use to create them. And if you delete your cookies, your notes will be deleted too. The share icon provides you with a link you can copy and paste into an email, a text, or a social media site. You can choose to share this entire book or just one particular page. If you need to zoom, there's an icon for that right here. This bar allows you to control your level of zoom. Finally, full screen mode allows you to fill your screen with this book. This, for me anyway, is the best way to view our books. All of the controls for notes, sharing, and zoom still appear here at the bottom of your screen. And when you're done with full screen mode, just press the escape key at the top left of your keyboard. And last but not least is that pretty yellow and blue donate button that hangs out at the bottom of every page. Clicking on it won't disrupt your work. It will instead open a new window that allows you to make a one-time donation to support our ongoing digitization efforts. Your contribution helps us put more Texas history at everyone's fingertips, and we couldn't do it without you. Happy research, y'all. Thank you.